Happy Sunday to you and welcome to another episode of Awareness. Our first topic today, AI. Okay, if you're you know kind of older like me, you may be thinking about Allen Iverson, but no, we're <laughs> talking about artificial intelligence. And it's really advanced technology that fulfills the roles of humans, uh, really eliminating the need for an actual person to do that job. So for example, think about self-driving cars, chatbots that make up your resumes for you or write college papers. Uh, and what about virtual travel booking agents, right? You don't need humans for those. Well, AI is impacting everyone in a number of areas but specifically, what is the impact on black communities? Does this sound familiar? That's because we talked about this on Awareness last year with Dr. Patrick Dix. He's a leading voice on automation and artificial intelligence. He has appeared on numerous social media platforms across the country, radio shows, uh, all kinds of networks, including NBC. Well, he's joining us back here today. Uh, Dr. Dix, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me back again. Yeah, we appreciate it. We first met you back in May of 2022, yes. and you started talking about AI. It wasn't something that was a, a big thing in the headlines at that time, right? Mm -hmm. We were starting to hear about it, but it was still new. Now you can't turn on the television or read a newspaper without hearing or reading anything about AI. What has changed since the last time uh, you were here on Awareness? Um, since the last time I was here last year, technology mm -hmm. and automation and artificial intelligence have magnified. Uh, more companies are doing research and development, and now we're starting to see the full impact of the millions of jobs that could potentially be lost due to the developments. And companies now mm -hmm. are even researching more and trying to find different ways to use this life-altering technology. I don't want to scare people, right? So I'll do this. What are some of the positive things about AI? It can help with health care. It mm -hmm. can help with um, legal fees. It can help out here in the newsroom. It can help with research. Mm -hmm. um, it can help with self-driving cars. It can help um, diagnose different cancers. Those are all good things. Yo, those are great things. But the us. negative impacts of AI that really have people concerned, uh, including you traveling across the country uh, talking about this, mm -hmm. what will you say those things are? Um, job losses mm -hmm. and the future of employment. And with the cost of living right now is so high. You remember last time we filmed this in May, the cost of living was not as high, was not as, high as it is now. Mm -hmm. It is exceptionally expensive to live. So if you don't have a job, you don't have funds, mental health also is rising since the last time we talked, yeah. all of those play into artificial intelligence and automation. You keep talking about job losses, and I mm -hmm. know that you had a few figures when we were talking before the show about how many people are losing their jobs. Uh, put that into perspective for our viewers. Um, there were some recent reports that came out a couple of months ago up mm -hmm. to a potential 300 million plus 300 million plus jobs could be lost. Wow. But I want what, what I want the viewers to understand is mm -hmm. you still have time to prepare. This is a swift change in society. So I know people out there are nervous, but I'm here to help you. Yeah. I want you to realize that right now, no matter what you're doing, you can shift and get into the automation and AI world and potentially increase your salary significantly. How do you do that? Um, there are free courses right now on Coursera and Google. I did a, a live stream, uh, I would say a residency with some students the other night, yeah. and I was showing them about all the AI jobs out there. So for many of your people that are technical and analytical, already have the skill set, they just have to learn about artificial intelligence and automation and how those two work together. What are some of those jobs? Um, an AI prompt engineer, they will mm -hmm. study large language models. And one thing I want to tell people is artificial intelligence, just like the word artificial, it is only as good as the information it can retrieve. Mm -hmm. And programming, we call that garbage in, garbage out. Uh, another job is an AI ethics uh, expert. So one of the big things you hear about AI being ethical, if you're concerned about AI being ethical, you can work in and be an AI expert and work on the ethics side. Uh, another thing oh. is an AI trainer. Somebody has to train the language to cipher information. Let me take that back, not cipher, to read, to research and output. That could be your listeners or your viewers. And lastly, even in the legal field, um, you have legal experts that are using AI, so you could be one of those people too. You know, this is really good information for those who are just entering college mm -hmm. or uh, looking to graduate soon in case they want to change their major because you really kind of got to start fine tuning mm -hmm. uh, what you want to do as a career uh, to relate to AI for mm -hmm. job security. Um, one of the fields, I did computer science at South Carolina State. Mm -hmm. So if I was entering college right now, you can go to a two-year school. If you're great with math, mm -hmm. algorithms are what run, what run cybersecurity and artificial intelligence. If you're great with math, you will be great in the field. 
But if I had to pick a major, I would do computer science. And if you're able to do like a minor in AI or some certifications, I would do that. I always want people to remember, never focus on one subject area. Computer science, computer engineering, software engineering, IT, et cetera, covers a whole wealth of knowledge. Mm. So if you're able to major in that, your skills are what we deem, what I talked about last year, transferable. So you'll be able to transfer and learn about the algorithms and how the language, the language works. Now, Dr. Diggs, what about the older people who may not be so tech savvy and they are working you know, manual jobs that could be replaced by robots? What would be your advice to them? They will have to learn how artificial intelligence works. Mm -hmm. I want people to understand AI is already in our life right now. GPS navigation, facial recognition, mm. spell check correction. It's already here. You're using it. There are apps that you already use. So for the older generation, you know, you're either going to be using an iPhone or you're going to be using a Samsung Galaxy. It is imperative that you learn how artificial intelligence works because doctors now with the pandemic have shifted to telemedicine. Many right. of your um, Many of your appointments are done remotely. So that's why baby boomers and part of the other generations must learn how the technology works because the days of going downtown to pick up items when you can go on the Amazon app and sure. order it and it's at your doorstep. It is very beneficial to elderly people because you know many elderly people live on a fixed income. Yeah. Artificial intelligence can really help them out a lot in saving money or if I'm, if you had grandparents, you mm -hmm. can say, Grandma, I have it set up, a granddad, I have it set up for two, two times a month. The UPS will bring your tie, your toilet paper, everything to you. So right. technology is helpful in that aspect. You just have to know how to use it. You just, you must know how to use it. Now, the last time you were here, we talked about the impact of AI on black communities and rural communities. Mm -hmm. What had your research shown you within the year? Uh, about that impact on black communities? It's still going to impact those communities. But and, and why? Um, the lack of communication. You remember I was talking about the lack of education. Mm -hmm. The only way you're going to be able to deal with automation and artificial intelligence is have an education. Or, as I talked about last year, you're going to a blue collar field, which would be an electrician, HVAC, plumbing, construction, landscaping, et cetera. And I want to delve on, on that a little bit more because we do know that black people are educated, so that's not what we're saying, but it's just about the opportunities mm -hmm. that you are given sometimes in rural and black communities, correct? Yes, right now, I'm going to say this, this is an opportunity of a lifetime. Mm -hmm. Everybody, including myself as a researcher, we're trying to learn about artificial intelligence. Even you, Billie Jean, yeah. you can learn about how AI works. Nobody knows what the technology can do. So if you're in a rural town, like I'm from Williston, mm -hmm. and I know you're from Manny, right? Correct. So if you think about those areas and you've been waiting on God to send you a prayer right now, artificial intelligence and automation wow. is here. You can get into these fields and change your life. You can move right to Columbia, Charlotte, Atlanta, work remotely. Right now is an right now is the opportunity of a lifetime for everyone. That is so important. I'm glad you said that. And it really shines a light just on the lack of resources mm -hmm. and just, you know, the disparities for black and rural communities. So education is key. It is key. Being in the know is key. Yeah. And then you have to be comfortable if you are in some of those areas that like opportunity to get up, pack your bags and be able to move to be able to reach those opportunities, correct? Yes, and you also can learn remotely. So if mm -hmm. you live in the areas where I live at, you okay. can go to Denmark Tech, Aiken Tech. Yeah. You can start at a technical school, excuse me, you can start at a technical school and mm -hmm. you can transfer to a four-year school. You don't always have to go get in big debt right now because I was talking about earlier, they are very free, not very free, they are free yeah. foundational courses from Google and Coursera that give you understanding. The best thing I recommend to people that are not fluent with technology, learn at the foundational level. Once you learn how AI works, you can take your life in so many different directions.